I'm so excited and I cannot hide it for today's episode because finally, after five long seasons, I can say we're going national as we kick off our first ever season in the Conference National League in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we have got episode number 37 of my Kinsley Walks to Prem save. And it's a special one today, because for the first time ever in Kinsley Football Club's history, either this club or the old club that went out of business in 2009... We are National League. We are playing just one league below the full-time professional leagues. We are National League. Say, we are National League. Yes, we are. And we've got our first ever game at this level against Morecambe away. Should be a winnable game. Morecambe have been on the way down over the last few seasons. If we just have a quick look at it here... They finished 6th in the first season, then 10th, then 23rd in League 2, and then 10th in the National League, and then last season they finished 12th. So definitely on the way down as I've left my Discord on once again. Sorry if you heard that, that was my laptop and not yours. And so let's go and have a look at the transfers, and then we'll have a look at the finances, because as you can see, they're in a little bit of a state. They are not looking good. So let's go transfers. And it's all been about the players coming in. Because where is it? There they are. We have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players come in. Some names you know. Some names are new. Like this guy here, Tyreek Wilson. You know all about him. He showed up in the Season 5 review at the end of last season as he's still our best ever left back in the history of this save. So we've brought him back. He's on loan from Wrexham. We are paying all of his wages. But I think for someone who is our best ever left back, and left back was a position we was quite weak in, so I'm happy with that. He's got decent technicals, okay mentals, decent physicals, and he played for us for two seasons, getting a 6.9 average rating and a 6.83, but what I liked is that he doesn't get injured, he never misses any time away, so yeah, I'm very happy with that deal to bring him back, and talking about bringing players back, I said last season, if he went out of contract, I will pay him whatever he wants to come back to the club. And yeah, we've had to pay quite a bit of money. £1.3,000 a week. It is possibly our biggest contract. I'm not quite sure. I'll have a look in a minute. But it's a lot of money. But it's definitely worth it. Because look what he did for us last season. Nine goals, eight assists. Three man the matches, average rating of 7.21, and he's only going to get better. He's still only 22, so he could rip this league apart as well. And then following him is Tommy Smith on a free from Ipswich. He's another one we had on loan last season. Played 22 times for us, got an average rating of 6.8. He just helps with the left back position again. Him and the other fella, what's his name, Tyreek Wilson, they're both going to compete for that spot. And then Dylan Crow as well, he's another one we had last season. Right back, 34 games last season, 6.98 average rating, very solid, very dependable, very happy to have him back. And then we have got some new guys coming into the club here. Dave Barnett, who is a 19-year-old centre-back. My scouts really liked him, and you can see there he's three star current, four star potential ability. Technicals are okay to average, I would say, but his mentals I like. 
He's very brave. He's got decent decision making. Positioning of 12. Teamwork and work rate I really like. Jumping reach is very good. And you can see there, he's a big tall guy. 6 foot 7. You're not going to be wanting to mess with him, are you? And he's still only 19. So we're going to work on his strength. His strength is something we definitely want to try and build up. Because if we can get a nice, strong, hard as nail centre back, that would be delicious. And how much are we paying him? 550 quid a week. So at this level, that's not too bad. And then, oh, I'm pressing more buttons than I want. And then following him in is Nathaniel Lewis on loan from Luton. Just a bit of backup, just for playing down the left-hand side. Oh, big, big, big injury news. I'll catch you up on the big injury news in a minute. And so, yeah, he is our left-back, left-sided midfielder. He can play anywhere up and down that side. Three-star current, four-star potential ability. Very, very good physicals. And technicals are okay. We shall see how he gets on. And then the last one in is Tristan Abledine. Abledine? Goodridge? I think that's how you say it. He is a four-star current and potential ability striker. He has come to us from Aston Villa, where he just got released. And last season, for Aston Villa's youth teams, he played 15 games with 16 sub-appearances, getting himself 14 goals. So that's quite decent. I do quite like the look of him. And on paper, he looks as good, maybe, as Adam Marriott. But obviously, Adam Marriott, he scored 40-odd goals in the last two or three seasons. So he's still going to be first choice, at least at the start of the season, so we can see how he gets on at this level. Hopefully, it's not going to be a jump too far for him. I really do hope he signs at this level as well. And so that's all the players that have come in. Let's go finances. Oh my gosh, that's got even worse since I last looked. Yeah, we've only got a grand in the bank. Oops. I have no idea how that's happened. Like I say, I've tried the money grabbing leagues, but they've not worked. I don't know why, but they just haven't. And so, yeah, we kind of need to get out of this league at the first attempt. If we could, that would be rather nice, because otherwise this club is in a whole lot of trouble. Whoops. Money management, not one of my strong suits. And yet the injury news, the injury news that we have got. Where is it? Where can I find it? Injury, injury, injury. There you go. You can see it there. David Embala, our main man on the left-hand side. Has broken his leg absolutely in half. He did it in a friendly against Brighton and Hove Albion. And he's out for five to eight months. So that is probably any chance he had of playing in the National League gone. You would probably think. Because five months takes us to what? Uh, September, October, November, December, January, February. Mmm... February might be lucky to get that. So February, March, March, April, maybe might get in towards the end of the season. But we'll see what his attributes look like at that point and how the team is going. But yeah, thankfully, we're still not paying him any money. He's still on the same non-contract he was on last season. So yeah, so he's not costing us anything, which is good. And so, with all that said, I think that's everything we need to look at before the game, isn't it? Can't think of anything else. And so, let's go and get into the team for today's game. Anthony Herbin is in goal. Tyreek Wilson slots right back into the left-back position he vacated when he left the club. Andrew Unpronounceable and Andrew Young are alongside each other in the middle of the defence. Dylan Crow is at right back and it's Lewis on the left hand side. So our only two changes really from last season are on the left hand side. And then it's McCarthy and Wright in the middle of the park. DiMaggio Wright Phillips on the right hand side. And up top it is the ever dependable Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott. Just before we do start the game, here are the board expectations. 
they're expecting us to get top half in the league, which I don't know how realistic that is, but that's what they're wanting. First round of the FA Cup, I think we can probably get to that quite easily this season. And then fourth round of the FA Challenge Trophy. But, 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 but what I do want to show you, what I've just remembered, is the uh, the press expectations. What is it? The season preview. Get ready for a shock. Yeah! They think we're going to get second. I don't know what kind of journalists they've got doing these predictions. But they must just be picking these out of a hat, surely. Us to finish second, above Boston, that would be nice. And above Bolton. Bolton in the league cannot wait to play Bolton. That is definitely going to be a video this season. And so, yeah, I've got no idea where they're getting these predictions from. But now, let's go and get into the game. Here we go, match preview time. As you would expect, Morecambe are the favourites. 6-4 to four to win the game. And as far as my knowledge tells me, this is the first ever meeting between the two teams. So this should be a very, very exciting game. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. Any guesses for what our assistant manager is going to do? If you had nothing, you was right once more. And now, first ever game at this level, what do you say? I'm going to go assertive. Come on, lads, show me what you can do. A few a few bits of reaction there. And I think there's a lot more to come from you. Oh, come on, if we can get everyone motivated, that would be phenomenal. Oh, we've got everyone but one motivated. And so, prediction time. No idea. Optimistic? 2-0. 2-0 win to us. That's what I'm going to go for. Come on, you linnets. Oh, 90 seconds into the game. And we've got an injury already. DiMaggio Wright Phillips is off. Okay, who are we going to bring on for him? Uh, Goodridge, you're a striker, aren't you? Yep, don't want you then. Uh, Dexter Waters, I think it's probably going to be you. And indeed it is. That is a very, very early blow. Not the start you wanted at this level. Let's go confirm that sub. 20 minutes into the game, finally a highlight. Our corner is headed away. It goes to Andrew Young. Can he find a teammate, please? Somebody help him. He's got it into McCarthy. Two waters. Two right. And goes to Dylan Crow. McCarthy. We're keeping the ball nicely here. Mundell plays it through. Lewis is in. Lewis is in. And oh, he should have given us the lead. That looked a golden opportunity for an early goal. But it's gone out for another corner ball. Crow to take it. Again, crosses it in. Again, he gets headed away. And this time goes to another man in red. And that's the end of that. Half an hour in and every highlight is for us at the minute. And the corner gets away from Marriott. Mundell has it. Goes to McCarthy. Goes back to Mundell. Goes to Lewis. To Andrew Unpronounceable. And then goes to Lewis. To Unpronounceable again. McCarthy. To Andrew, to Mundell again. This is very nice sort passing football here. And now Mundell with it, plays it out wide, goes to Waters. And he crosses it in, goes to Marriott. And Marriott does in the National League what he did in the Northern League. Yes, Adam Marriott. Yes. Taking him only half an hour. The National League is going to learn all about Adam Marriott. I am sure. Oh, what a goal this was. Some beautiful short passing football. And Marriott was never going to miss that. Who doubted Marriott? Not me. And that is half time, people. We are 1 0 up and we have dominated this game. Eight shots to Morecambe's two. Three on target to their one. We've had the one clear-cut chance. And 60% of the ball. We are the non-league Manchester City. Let's go dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. You've played well, but there's still room for improvement. No real reaction. 
And I believe you've got what it takes. You got what it takes. And yep, 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 there we go. Everybody, again with reaction, apart from Nathaniel Lewis. Is Nathaniel Lewis deaf? I might have to buy him a hearing aid. I think that's what his problem is. And now let's go into the second half. Let's get a couple more goals, yeah? 47 minutes in, two minutes into the second half, and Malcolm have had a corner that's gone over the bar, thank God. 65 minutes gone now, Morkham with the ball, they play it long but we win it back, McCarthy has it and turns and goes back to Tyreek Wilson who goes to right, who's in a right load of space, Mundell plays it out wide, Waters with the ball, can he get into the box, yes he can, he goes, he passes it, Marriott, yeah, <laughs> yes Adam Marriott, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0 to the Kingsland boys, 2-0. Oh, this is going to be a fun season, lads. I can feel it in me, Walters. And speaking of Walters, there he is. Plays it through and a very nice salt pass. I think the new ME has got a lot to do with that. Because I think in the old ME, he would have taken that shot on and it would have gone into row triple Z. 15 minutes left to go. Brewster with the ball for Morecambe. Goes out wide to Chiruku. And Dambo with a header, and that's gone over the bar. Okay, just over 10 minutes left. Just the one change been made. Ewan Murray has come on for Callum McCarthy. He's had a very good game. So I just wanted to give him a rest and then see what Murray can do for the rest of this game. 10 minutes left to go in the game, and Lewis is breaking into the box. He's gone for the shot, and that was easily saved by their keeper. Another highlight here, just non-stop highlights at the moment. Crow goes long with the ball. Mundell loses out on the header, and Malcolm coming forward. Chukuru coming forward, and Farley is in the box, and that's a very good block from our defender there. And they've had the shot at the second attempt, and that's been saved by the Frenchman, Herbin. And now, can he start a counter-attack for us? He goes short to Andrew Young, to Murray. And the ball goes long again. Mundell keeps it down. Nicely done. Marriott is in. Can he get a National League debut hat-trick? No, he can't. Oh, how perfect would that have been? Oh, another chance here. Four minutes left in normal time. Wilson with the ball, crosses it in. Walters with their head up, but he misses it. Goes to Crow, and can Crow get it in the box? He does. Lewis is in space, and it's 3 0. 3 0. What a dream start at this level. Lewis with a goal on his debut. He might be deaf, but he certainly knows how to head a football, doesn't he, lads? Oh my gosh. Let's have a look at this. Crow with the ball, crossed it in. Waters, with, Lewis, sorry, with a cracking header. Oh my days, another highlight. Could we get yet another goal? You can see in the bottom right-hand corner, as things stand, we are top of the league after one game played. I can't believe how well this is going. Mendel, Mundell plays it through to Waters. And Waters, come on, come on, make it even more perfect. Let's get Marriott a hat-trick. Waters crosses it in. Murray with a header and it goes away. Right now picks it up for us. Goes out to Walters. He needs his man to make an overlap, but he doesn't. And the ball gets cleared. Young collects it. Goes to Crow again. And to right. And looks like we're going to be going down the right-hand side again. Mundell in the centre. And now, can he play it out wide? He does. Lewis should be keeping this one in. He does. He crosses it. More Mundell tries to get on the header, but doesn't. Goes to Walters again. This is a very long highlight. Oh, that was almost four. That was almost four. Oh, the highlights are just non-stop. Mundell to right. Is he going to take the shot on? Nope, he's gone to Mundell. To right. To Walters. To right. Come on. Oh, Mundell even. Sorry. There's right. And oh. <laughs> four. 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 Four nil. This, oh, this is the most fun I've had playing FM in a long, long time. This has been oh, it's gorgeous to watch. Oh, we are playing some, some of the best football I've ever had anyone ever playing on FM. We have come to Morecambe and we have dominated them. 
Oh my days, another highlight. A minute left. Surely we can't make this five. This is beyond my wildest dreams. Right, out wide to Lewis. Lewis is inside. He's beaten his man there. He's gone for the shot. Oh, no, that was poor. We're still going. 20 seconds left. Walters with the ball. Goes to Crow. And he goes back to Young. Come on, play the ball forward. Oh, I would like a fifth. I'm not going to argue against it. And now, come on, Young. Forward to Walters. To Mundell. He plays it forward. Marriott, can he run? No, he can't. Oh, Driscoll clears the ball almost out of the stadium into the queue for the burger van. Which, considering how badly this has gone for the Morgan fans, I'm surprised there's not a big long queue at that, burg at that burger van. And now Crow with the ball, and that goes out again. And are we going to we have a chance to take this? Is that a corner or a throw in? It's a corner ball. Crow to take it. He whips it into the box. It gets headed away. Goes to Todd. And he is all on his Todd here. Surely, referee, there you go. That is how you start in the National League. 4 0 win, 21 shots, 2 there, 11. 13 on target, 2 there, 3. 3 clear cut chances to their none. And 61% of the ball. This league is easy. We're going to walk it, lads. Let's go, passionate. I'm very pleased and everybody's delighted, even the deaf man Nathaniel Lewis, he's got someone doing sign language for him and even he looks delighted. Let's go end the team talk and let's see where we're going to come back for the next episode. Oh, what a start, come on, I cannot believe we've started that well, wowzers, and okay. So, where do we come back? Where I, I kind of want to get quite a few games played. So, let's see. Bol Bolton and Torquay? Bolton and Torquay do seem like that could be a good double header. So, you know what? That's when we're going to come back. And that will be... What day is it today? It's Thursday. So, tomorrow is going to be the India series. That will be Monday. That will be Monday we come back for that hope you do come back for that hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below and while you're down below as well not that get your minds out the gutter but while you are down below please pop a comment down below and let me know where you think we're gonna finish in the league would love to get a few comments with a few predictions let me know and yep, as well as that, subscribe to the channel for more quality content just like that. More FM20 content, more Pro Evo content, all that good stuff. I'm, I'm trying to hit 600 subs by the end of the month. If we can do that, that would be beautiful. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the pas bleh, check out the Passion for FM Discord website, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, and check out the other Passion for FM YouTubers down below. They're all very awesome guys doing very awesome content. And yep, guys, that is all from me for today. I shall see you tomorrow for the Building a Nation India series. Bye.